Hey guys, it is April from Getting Cuckoo With It. Today I wanted to share with you the horror books that I would like to read by the end of this year. I've got quite a few here for, for you because I really, really am in the mood for horror right now and I don't know where this has come from, but I that's really what I want to read right now. Even above thrillers, even above historical fiction, this is the stuff I want to read. So let's get into it. I've got to tell you that a few of these books are on my list right now because I've been obsessed with listening to Books in the Freezer. It's a podcast that is created and hosted by Stephanie from That's What She Read and also Rachel from The Shades of Orange. If you like horror, first of all, you need to subscribe to this podcast. And secondly, you have to go and subscribe to their channels because they adore horror and so do I. And so there are a couple on this list that are total recommendations from them because I've been binge listening to their podcast lately. Um, so first, let me start with a book that um, was suggested by the podcast. They did a whole episode about possession stories and Rachel from The Shades of Orange recommended Come Closer by Sarah Gran, I believe her last name is. And this is a possession story, but it's a possession story from the perspective of the person being possessed. Um, and this is about a, a woman named Amanda and her possession starts very subtly. There are these little tiny things like hearing, tapping, um, that kind of thing. Uh, that's very so subtle that you might not even notice and that's what's scary about it apparently that It's so subtle that you could hear it yourself like that could happen to you because it's so subtle um, and slowly but surely She's being possessed and it sounds brilliant. This is a short and sweet book and I am so excited to read it Next is a book that just came out in April. It's called Unbury Carol from Josh Mallerman. I am buddy reading this with Vicky from chapter 32 and I, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about this book. I, I loved Bird Box. You all know that I adored Bird Box. It's still my favorite horror novel of all time. Um, but this is about a woman named Carol and she has this thing where she falls asleep um, for very, very long periods of time. And I, I don't know how she's come into some money, but her husband of this time does not want her to keep the money. He decides the next time that she falls asleep that he is going to bury her. So we follow Carol while she's being um, buried alive. That's petrifying, yes? absolutely petrifying. Next is another possession story. It's the original possession story and that's The Exorcist by William Peter Blady. And this follows Reagan and her mom and Reagan is possessed. She is possessed. She's incredibly creepy while she's possessed and I can't wait to read this. I, of course, have watched the film already. I know all of the scenes. I think I've watched it two or three times over the course of my life, but um, apparently this dives into a little bit more that struggle between um, the medical system and the Catholic Church with deciding what the next course of action should be for this little girl who is possessed. Also, it's so creepy that she's a little girl being possessed. That adds the creep factor to me. I also would really love to read The Grip of It by Jack Jemk. This is a super short book. This is uh, like 260 pages or something, but it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And this is about a couple who move to, I don't wanna say the countryside, but they move just outside of a city and, um, the house is haunted. They are hearing like groaning noises in their home uh, and slowly but surely they come to realize that the 
the house is very much haunted. And this is supposed to be literary horror, which is interesting to me. I don't know exactly what that means, and I would like to find out. <laughs> This next one is uh, a new book coming out in August. This is Faux by Ian Reid. Now, Ian Reid wrote my favorite thriller that I read last year called I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Now, this is said to be a thriller or horror or science fiction. So I'm going to be throwing it all in here. I think it's I'm looking at it as horror. So I'll read the back for you. Um, I was kindly sent this by Simon and Schuster Canada and I'm beyond excited about this. Um, it says, Junior and Hen are a quiet married couple. They live a comfortable isolated life on their farm, far from the city lights, but in close quarters with each other. One day a stranger from the city arrives with surprising news. Junior has been randomly selected to travel far away from the farm, very far away. The most unusual part? Arrangements have already been made so that when he leaves, Hen won't have a chance to miss him at all because she won't be left alone. Not even for a moment. Hen, Hen will have company. Familiar company. Uh, I'm so excited. And what's also exciting is Simon & Schuster, the uh, marketing team there, is extremely excited about this book. Apparently, when this advanced reader copy came in to the Canadian office, the whole office was excited. So that makes me beyond excited. So yes! Another horror book I'd really like to read over the course of 2018 at some point is We Need to Talk About Kevin. This is about a family. Uh, the son of this couple commits this brutal murder and the mother has always thought that there was something wrong with Kevin and it explores their relationship with one another and it sounds very disturbing. I think that would be, you know, a worst nightmare of a parent is, you know, you bring this child into the world and you don't know what's going to happen. So it sounds wonderful. It sounds very disturbing. And I'm excited to read that one. I would also really like to read We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. This follows Maricat Blackwood, uh, who lives on the family estate with her sister Constance and her uncle Julian. Not long ago, there were seven Blackwoods until a fatal dose of arsenic found its way into a sugar bowl one terrible night. Acquitted of the murders, Constance has returned home where Maricat protects her from the curiosity and hostility of the villagers. They pass their days in happy isolation until Cousin Charles appears. Only Maricat can see the danger and she must act swiftly to keep Constance from his grasp. That sounds equally disturbing. And Shirley Jackson is, you know, such a, an important um, author for the horror genre. So I'd really love to read that one. Finally, I'd really like to read The Ruins by Scott Smith. The only thing I'm worried about with this is apparently this is like the ultimate body horror. Um, and I'm not always good with that, but The Ruins follows, I think it's two couples and they are uh, hiking in the woods. They stumble upon this man who needs help. He is in search of a, a girl and he's headed for the remote Mayan ruins, which is the site of a fabled archeological dig. And while they're on their journey there, uh, everything goes wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm very nervous about the body horror. So we shall see. We'll see if I can handle it or not. Uh, but those are all of the horror books that I'd really love to read this year. By the end of the year, I mean, there are probably, there are only like six months left, right? So I've got to get on it, but I, I'm so eager to read horror right now that I, I kind of feel like I'll be able to do this, no problem. So let me know in the comments below uh, what horror book you've read lately that you've really, really loved. I would love to know, and I'll see you next time. Bye.